Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 20 of season 2 of Jobless Reincarnation. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. B2W. It is 8.36. I am tired as fuck. I had a long ass day today. I am exhausted. <laughs> so I am sorry in advance. Someone should. I hate when that happens, god damn it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm ready to take a nice hot shower, get my ass in bed, everything fucking hurts. <laughs> So, be easy on him, please and thank you. <laughs> Me. <sighs> you gotta get up. Oh. 
Oh, that's why he's here. He's gonna help you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, you know. Mm-hmm. different when the roles are ours. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, fuck you, Paul. Like, damn. He, he's a really nice guy. There you go. Say it again. Yeah. Well, see, here's the thing. We know from the opening she's stuck in a freaking crystal. So is she crystallization stasis like Final Fantasy is up in this bitch? So how can you answer that? Because without giving spoilers, you know? Where's Roxy? Yeah. What? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, my God. But then at the same time, she could also be anywhere. I was, I was all fucking ready. All fucking ready for this damn reunion. And then you fuck me over again. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, she who who doing that? <laughs> Once again, who doing that? I ain't. Doing <laughs> I felt weird. <laughs> no, she's an angel. Well, if we can hurry and get this done, he'll be able to see his kid. We'll find her. Nah, oh my god. I mean, is that supposed to be like the greatest bonding moment between a father and a son? Just to say, talk about sex! <laughs> oh god. Takes you to the freaking porn store. <laughs> oh, you buy your first sex toy. <laughs>
show off. That's a man for ya. I mean, seriously, just because you want to fucking show off don't mean everybody got to sleep with you. Don't mean everybody want to sleep with you. Yes! Exactly! Damn! Right. <laughs> Are they CGI? So then how the heck are you supposed to? Jesus Christ. Complicated. Mm-hmm. I mean, shouldn't one of us keep watch, though? You telling me that quickly? Hold on, because he could be on to something.
Damn. This is something I've been wanting for the longest time since I finished season one. Like, oh my god. Because I'm sitting here thinking these two would have never, ever found each other again. Or just seen each other. Or just anything. It's very similar to, um, was it the Wandering Witch series? Let me, no, I gotta look that up. I gotta make sure, because, like, uh, yep, yeah, yeah, The Wandering Witch, The Journey of, um, Elena. Okay, with her master, once she officially left, um, especially after, I don't know what episode it was, and, you know, she's on her own, doing her own thing and such. I had always wondered and thought, like, oh my god, are these two ever going to see each other? I still don't even know, because I haven't, like, read the series. I want to read the series a lot and to see how dark it gets and such. Um, but I would love to see her and her teacher meet up. It, it's something about seeing this student finally meeting up with their teacher again that just feels right. And it makes you happy, and it's just like, oh my god, like, yes, like, we've gotten to this moment. They're able to embrace, and yeah, like, the student is a lot older and a lot more powerful than, you know, he or she was the very first time that they encounter each other. I, I mean, yes, I love that they're both looking at each other, and I'm like, yeah, it's like, oh, it's so freaking cute and stuff. I can't ship it, though. I can't, because, like, I'm just, I'm always going to think of, you know, teacher-student, and so I'm not one with those. <laughs> No, I, dead ass, mm -mm, no matter how much you tell me. But they are so sweet together. I just, I'm ready to see them at least hug or embrace. Because, once again, this is a reunion that I mostly anticipated for. More than it is. And, and when she comes, like I said, I don't know how truly, shut the fuck up, watch. Um, How I'm truly going to be when she comes up because I feel like she left... The way she left, left a not good so taste in my mouth. Um, and I'm still a little iffy on that. And I think Rudy is too. Even though, like, especially having this moment where he had, like, this PTSD kind of feeling. Talking about Roxy for a moment. Like, oof. Baby boy. I fell for him. But, yeah, 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 when she comes around, it, it is going to be a little awkward, and they're going to make it, well, I don't know if they're going to. I hope they make it awkward, because of the fact is, like, and I've said it numerous times, she literally fucked him, and then she left. She literally had sex like a man. Like, just hit it, and then she was out. No, no cuddle, no embrace, no nothing, no hug, anything. It was like, 
spit it out. And, and so, I mean, I get it. Because, yes, I get it. I think any other woman would be like that in any situation because of feelings and stuff and emotions and everything. But because I I love Rudy so much, it's just like, you know how he feels in that moment. Because it's like, that one moment, you are so vulnerable with someone. And they take it away with, like, no remorse. And there's no thoughts and feelings behind it for that person when it is such an important moment and then they just, they leave. Like, it was nothing. I'm not speaking about my own thing. Thank you very much. Because I know one of y'all is going to be like, hmm, do you talk about experience? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, mm, okay. I won't say, like, more sexual. More, it's, um... Like, first, anything else. Relationships and just like that. I'll say that. I'll say, I'll take that as an experience and such. And so, you feel like when you go into your next relationship with someone else, like, you still have that quote-unquote baggage and such. And that's what Rudy has had. And I, once again, I feel for him oh so bad. But thank God he also, you know, <laughs> got to see his daddy again. That's all I really cared about because, yes, they're now, we're at a different point. Like, Rudy is more older. He is a man now having his own kid and he's married. So, yeah, I, I love that. I love the fact that they got to, you know, bond again. It was really nice and sweet. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 20 of season 2 of Dollar Tree Incarnation. Excuse me. Shit. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the match squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 21. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.